Hi guys, this is Vishali from Trapcode. So in this video, we will understand how to use Bootstrap UI to build uh, design or build uh, layouts on Trapcode. So Trapcode uses the Bootstrap UI framework behind the scene and whatever can be done with Bootstrap UI framework, it can be done in Trapcode. And you can literally just copy paste the HTML uh, as it is and then it will work. So we'll see a couple of examples how that can be done in Trapcode. So I'll just go and search Bootstrap. So you can search Bootstrap UI framework. This is uh, like how the website looks like. So this is a fully responsive framework to build uh, UI, uh, build user interface. So we, we with all trap code purchase, you get bootstrap 5 uh, by default. Okay. And if you want to change it to bootstrap 4, which is a bit old, you can change it. But yeah, by default, it's bootstrap 5. And whatever can be done with bootstrap, you can just do it in trap code. So let's see. You can also purchase ready-made HTML themes and then upload those themes as it is, which we'll cover in the next video. But here, just try to upload a couple of bootstrap components. So here, if you go to these examples, uh, you can see that they have a lot of headers, zero. These are like default examples, like which you can use as it is. And then there are a lot of marketplaces where you can actually find bootstrap components. So let's say I'll say bootstrap UI components. There are a lot of marketplaces where you can get these components and then you can just drag and drop and use them as it is, which definitely we'll cover in the next videos. Okay. So for now, I'll just stick to the default one, which uh, the default example, which puts a framework is given. So let's say, let's talk about these headers. So these are the headers. Now I want in my application, a header like this, probably, or maybe like this. How do we do it? Very straightforward. Just go and download these examples. So I would download these examples and open in VS code, right? Because you need the HTML code of it, right? So let's go to the headers, which is this, and then open this headers HTML, All right? So no, this is the first one. Let's just build this header, okay? So I'll just go here and copy the code of this. So either you can copy the code by inspect element here itself. You can just if you know how to use this inspect element, just copy this container. Okay. Or just this header or probably the whole container. Okay. So I'll first, I'll copy it from here. Then in second example, I'll copy from the uh, code from VS code. So I just copied this HTML, close this copy element. I'll go to my trap code project. Okay. So this is a, a dummy page okay, as of now it has nothing. So I'll just go to my components and drop this HTML custom code component. I'll remove the default code and paste the one which I've just copied and then embed. So you see the header is here and it, it is exactly the same header, right? Probably the image is missing because it's an SVG. So trap code as of now don't support SVG. So you need to uh, either you use some icon uh, font or some in, line icon that we'll cover in the next video how to use those icon or you can just put a, a normal png or jpg image okay but otherwise you see it is exactly so let me just preview so here you see the the header is here which is coming from the bootstrap header now let's see i need a header like this maybe with this all these things and then log in and sign up so i'll just or maybe header like this. So let's say this one, which has this drop down also. So let's say I like this one. How do I use it? So I just inspect it and just copy. So basically you just need to make sure that you copy the actual header uh, HTML. Okay, so I'll just say copy, or you can basically copy the code from here. So all these headers are here. So this is the header, right? This is the header. So you can just copy paste this, copy this code and come here to trap code project and let's i don't need this one i'll just remove and then i go to the component and drop the custom code again and then i'll just paste this embed so the header is here with these options so now let's go and try so this should get updated okay so the this is here along with the profile setting now I can put my own icon. So do we have any image? No, we don't have any image. Let's search for image. Or let's say this is upload image. 
while you just drive code local. Okay, it is updated here. And reload the page. Remove this SVG component. Okay. And basically drop the logo. Obviously, it's a big one, so I'll just drag and drop here. Sorry. Let's say it's fix the size to maximum with this 200 pixel. And then I can drag as needed. Okay, so this is it. Now let's remove this, these two components. These are not needed. So here you can see the head, header is here along with the options and this bar. So let's say if you want to add, remove uh, these options, if you want to add this, this can be done very quickly. You just choose the layer and then just duplicate. Okay, so let's say I want to say, let's say about us, maybe I want to add something else, company. And that also I can change the font, I can change color, I can design because drop code identifies each and every of these, right? So I may need to remove some classes because it may be overriding the CSS, but let's say now I have removed the class and here you can see it is actually changing color, right? So let's say I want to make it center align. I want to make it bold. All these things I can do. Italic it is here. Uh, wait, let's say bold. So all these things here, are, these also you are seeing the trap code is now actually able to identify them. So if I want more option, I can just duplicate. Okay, or you just need to make sure that you choose the right layer. So here this link and then after link, there is a ULLI. You can just select it. So let's say instead of profile, I'll say settings, let's say, or my projects, let's say. You save it. You reload the page, it should have more options, but they should also have more options. So here, the company is here, and here, my project is also here. And then again, these are regular links, you can link to any pages, anything you want, right? Because now, draft code is actually understanding all these components. So you can just bring any uh, bootstrap design, bootstrap HTML, CSS, just insert it, and it will work seamlessly with draft code. So we are able to decide this. Let's build something here. So I'll go back uh, to my components. So let's say I want to build some hero section. So um, let's say this feature section. So let's say we want something like this. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll just inspect or I can just copy the code like I did previously. Copy the either the whole container or just this one depending on what all I need. So let's say just copy the container, copy this. Go back to my uh, builder and then again custom HTML. So remove the default one and paste the one which we just brought and embed. So you see the design is here. Let's preview. So it exactly like this. So the images are not coming, maybe because of the URL. Okay, but yeah, I think you get an idea. Now let's let's build something else. Let's say I need uh, a feature section like this. So very simple, just copy paste inspect element or let's let's copy from the code. So I'll go here in the features. Let's copy this code. Okay. Copy this drop code, custom HTML component, paste. That's all. The icon grid is here. The icons are not coming. That is something which we do through uh, either you can use font or some or you can use any other thing, right? So if you want to change something, so draft code now understand everything, right? So all these components are now converted to uh, draft code uh, readable components. So this is a very good feature where you want to bring any ready-made design or anything from Bootstrap framework and just use as it is. Let's try with some other uh, thing. So let's say we want to build a 
a full dashboard okay let's say i want to copy a dashboard like this right can it be done so yes so let's just go and copy the code so i'll go back to my code and let's go to the dashboard block so the dashboard is here so css you may have to put the css in the css js in the js okay and index.sml so this is the dashboard i'll just copy everything which is inside the body so i'll copy this html go back to wrap code i'll just erase everything because now let's we are building the whole dashboard so i'll just again html component and paste everything okay and embed so here you see a full fledged dashboard in five seconds so here it is and you can just change all these things as you need the left menu is here sign out button all these things are here so let's say i don't need this thing i'll just remove i don't sections all these things so this i can replace with my own data table these options now it is actually uh, identifying them i can change it to according to my options i can change color look and feel i can link these buttons so whatever uh, i need i can definitely need but yes the, it's a good start where you can just bring the ready-made design and then start building your application from there and trap code is actually identifying all these uh, bootstrap components so this is much useful when you can just go and uh, copy or like use uh, existing uh, bootstrap component just copy paste as it is and then start from there you don't have to spend things like i spend time on thinking about how to design and we have much more advanced feature we can just import ready-made html themes so like 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 in bootstrap if you go here yeah there are a lot of themes bootstrap themes which are available on their website like bootstrap themes so if you go here so there are a lot of nice looking layouts so let's say you want something like this you want something like this those can be built as it is without any effort this is something which we'll cover in the next video Hope you enjoyed the video. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.